the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid as fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Holy shit. Here we go again. Looks like this is our lucky day. Well, Kenny, when you put it like that... Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Now, if this is your first time watching The Walking Dead, you're in for a treat because this game is awesome. And if you haven't heard of The Walking Dead, where in the hell have you been? You must be Amish and not have any electricity because the television show is even better than the game. <sighs> You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should stay, Kenny. We've made an all right go of it so far. That fucking figures. It's only a matter of time till you and Lily put a white picket fence around that shithole. What did I say before? You have to know when to stay and know when to leave. So hopefully, we know when to leave. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Wise words. Very, very wise words. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. That's just like Kenny, sending me into a shitty situation. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Put that bitch in neutral and push it. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Okay, so there's tons of fallen debris, and I'm not too sure how we're gonna get in there yet, but we're gonna find a way. There's no safe way through that mess. Kenny, come on. Can't reach. Then lay the fuck down. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. K, 
Kenny is such an asshole. After all I've done for him, he can't pull me up a big rig. It's completely flat. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Maybe because you smashed her father's face in with a brick. Upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week. What do you think? Christ, I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. <laughs> Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. That's because it was Duck's fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit! Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. Come on, Lee! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. See now, Kenny is a me, me, me person. Not really thinking of others until it's his ass. Then he needs your help and... What do you do? You help him. 
Shooting that girl was the right thing to do. Why have someone sit there and suffer when you can do something to help them, even if it is death? In that situation anyways. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Holy shit. Don't you fucking think about doing it, Kenny. I will fuck you up. didn't you? You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. Well, not quite. We got some stuff, not a ton. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No. Because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want. 
want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! I am going to slap that handlebar mustache right off of his fucking face. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, I will make a minute for you, but I need to figure out what is going on with Lily and the supplies and the thief, just so I have all the information when I'm making executive decisions around this motherfucker.